Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, what's up, you little eaters of gas? I like to eat gas too. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna come to King King Cleese's space mansion? Uh, oh, hey, look, we got TV burning on the TV. You you guys can't see that though. But and we're gonna go. We're gonna go, and you're gonna bring me a jerry can, and you're just gonna be filled with gas and grass, and then we're gonna burn it. And then I'm gonna put it in a burrito. You know what they call that? The Chinese Indian Mexican breakfast dinner. <laughs> Just dead silence and then <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Hi. Games. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. I will shoot oh, you. Do you look at what his head's doing? Yeah. He's like head banging straight forward. That's actually how I dance. I actually do that. I go like Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, quick question. Yeah. When you were young, when you were a quick kid, quick answer. When you were a kid, whenever like you did something kind of silly, did you ever have those times where like you do it in front of somebody who's kind of judgy and kind of an asshole, and they'd be like, "Never do that again." It, that was scary. Uh, Has that ever happened to you? I can't say with complete confidence it never happened, but I don't recall such a time that that happened. I just remember... Are you talking like an adult or a kid or what? In like middle school. Oh, in middle school? Yeah, like nah. I just remember one time in middle school, I, uh... I, uh my, my Jacked off your principal? Dude, that is not cool. Well, my concert band and I, we went to uh, Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And uh, on when we were getting on the plane to go back, I, uh, I was sitting next to this guy who was honestly kind of a tool. I just never talked to him often, so I never realized it. I I booted up my Nintendo DS. I know DS. this guy? No, I don't think so. Oh. He didn't go to the same school as you. Oh. And I just booted up my DS and I was playing Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. And once I booted it up, Mario and Luigi go, Nintendo! Yeah. And right when that happened, I was like, hey dude, look at this. Nintendo! I said it along with him and he said, never do that again. <laughs> well, this guy just sounds like he's got some issues. Issues, yeah. I mean, he's in middle school. He yeah, sounds like yeah. a douche. Yeah, he was a douche. Yeah, he sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, ex of, of, of course, I was at that age where I was like, oh, okay. Oh, what did I do wrong? I guess I did do something. Nah. Wait, wait, did you miss something? No, you got everything. I don't think fine. so. We can double check that real did quick. Did you get all the balloons? I think so, but let's double check. Yep, we're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, yeah, we did miss some stuff, but it's for Tiny, I think. Okay. Yeah, like uh, there's some coins for Tiny mm -hmm. in that room, but yeah, what else? But yeah, has that ever happened to you where you just do something kind of eccentric or, or silly? And then someone's like, that was creepy. Never do that again, man. No. Uh, okay. I <laughs> know. <laughs> in part, it's like, again, like, I I don't know, man. You are fucking hilarious, and you weren't, you, I don't know, you did you. In middle school, I was a lot more, like, self-aware, and I'm like, ha, huh, I just think it in my head. But I'm like, ah, it's probably fucking lame, and I wouldn't say it out loud. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the, the difference, I the guess. The mindset of, of, like, nope, not gonna risk it. I don't want to be embarrassed by being completely honest and being myself. <laughs> or just, like, being more realistic with myself of, huh, I find that funny, but it's probably not that funny to others. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was just, like, pretty good at checking myself. But I got better at that over time. Totally. But wh what you just described is, like, that guy just sounds like a turbo douche. Yeah, there's some other... Like, that does not sound fucking weird. I don't know. He, he probably thought that it, he would feel, like cool by making fun of you because like oh, nintendo that's for kids well regardless i remember one or two other things like our, our band we once went to this uh we, we went uh, ice skating God, once that, that kid sounds like a douche oh yeah his name was w D uh w we douche went to Lord. this uh we, we went to this uh douche studio spaghetti restaurant dad was the owner after we went ice skating and I recall when people were talking about, like, okay, I'm going to sit next to you, okay? Okay, I guess we'll all Wait, sit over what? here. And he, I remember at one point, he was like, no, I don't want to sit next to James. It's like, okay. Yeah. Jeez. And then there's this one time, like, I was trying and, to... And you said this is in band? Yeah, in God middle school. damn. Dude, this is why I never understood, like, uh, even, like, I, I don't know, like, I guess, whatever. Fuck, I, I don't want to talk shit on anyone, but... 
if people were in band and they like thought they were super cool or some shit, I'm like, who the fuck do you think we are? We're all in fucking band. A bunch of fucking nerd losers, dude. Like, come on, get over yourself. Jesus Christ. Well, you know, there are just so many people at that age who are just like, they have to, they, they, they don't have the highest self-esteem, so they kind of put on that act or act that way, because it's like, if I act this way, I'll start to feel that way and I'll be cool. Yeah. I guess. Kind of like, something like that. I mean, so I, yeah, I'd say when I was in sixth grade, I didn't have like a ton of self self-esteem, but I didn't like put others down because of it. Good. When I was yeah. like in seventh and eighth grade, I was like super confident and like a little bit cocky and arrogant but again i didn't really use that to put others down i was just like i'm the fucking shit i'm so fucking funny and i just try and make everyone laugh but i wouldn't like make fun of other people yeah some people just have issues like 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 their parents don't treat them well or yeah exactly. so then they take it out on students at school i don't know he probably just yeah he He's, he's kind of a dick in general. Like, I, I, ne I never talked to him He's probably just a fucking cock lord with a micro penis and felt bad about it. So he's like, I'm gonna make fun of James. It's, I don't know. Probably that, what it was. Like, I didn't talk to him very often, but on the rare case that I ever was interacting with him, he was just kind of an a-hole to me. Mm. I don't know what I did to him, but, eh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I did. Don't take this in a wrong way, because it's a compliment, not... Not meant to be taken weird. Okay, here you're, we go. Let's hear it. You're kind of, <laughs> you're kind of a weird dude sometimes, man. Me, oh, yeah. Me too, but I don't know. In middle school and shit, people don't like people who are different and weird. Yeah, yeah. And They're like, like, you have to be cool, man. All my friends are fucking weirdos. It's like, that's how I like it. I don't yeah, like... Yeah, me too. I don't like basic bitches. Those like, are like, no, you have to be this way, otherwise yeah. you won't be accepted. No. Or you'll be ostracized. Exactly. You'll be an outcast. Fuck that shit. Yeah. In high school, I hung out with a bunch of dudes who thought it was funny to pull their dicks out and run around, like... And helicopter them. And <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Stick fucking uh, aerosol in their penis. <laughs> like, well, wait, what? Did I not tell this story on Royal Goose? M maybe you did. I what? thought I did. I'll just tell the short version then. And if I haven't told it, I can tell it in greater detail at another time. Um, first, though, how do I get into the... Leave. Uh, you have to be Diddy. Okay. Do we um, spend half the episode getting coins for Tiny? You have to, um... Did we? Yeah. Go, go on the number pad yeah, over there. I was, do I have to get in my rocket boot bullet? Yes, I believe you do. Remember, they can't hear you very well. Yes, I believe you do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the short version is there was this guy. He's fucking hilarious and uh, a little bit over the top sometimes. And uh, he was just... Go to the top of the llama building. Trying to shock people. And, um... Oh, the llama building? Yep. Oh, okay. And he's just trying to shock people... And uh, we had this saying that was uh, next level. Like, we just say, take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Wait, what am I doing up here? Oh, okay, I guess it wasn't there. Okay, go back to your jetpack. Okay. Um, so we say, take it to the next level, take it to the next level. And then whatever anyone was doing, they'd have to go even fucking crazier. And I think... Uh, I forget how it's... I don't know what he was doing at first. I think maybe he was like, dude, what if I... You know, canned air, like, to clean your computer and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he was gonna put it in his butt and try and make himself fart. And so <laughs> somebody told him, next level, next level! And so then he put it in his dick, and he's like, watch this! And he went, like, Pfft, and his uh, penis ballooned up for half a second, and then he started screaming and ran to the bathroom, and was like, oh my god! <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. What? And then S's dad came downstairs, and he's like, what is all the commotion about? And so, uh, as his dad went into the bathroom and saw the dude holding his penis, jumping up and down, like, screaming, and he's like, not even gonna deal with this, and just <laughs> walked back upstairs. <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. Oh, that's funny. Anyways, those are the kind of fucking people I like to hang out with, because it was just like, what the fuck? I wouldn't have got that experience if I was hanging out with boring, normal people who are like, Ew, what, why are you fucking playing Nintendo game? Like, nah, who fucking, fucking gives a shit? That's like in middle, that reminds me of middle school when suddenly Pokemon's not cool anymore. Oh, that was totally me too. I wouldn't rag on people for playing Pokemon, but I definitely stopped playing it because I did not want people to make fun of me for it. I was like, eh. nah, Pokemon's fucking lame. Fuck that shit. Yeah, but then in high school it became cool again, and I was like, alright. Yeah, Hi, like high school and college especially, people are like, Pokemon! That's, that's actually one of the comics I want to dub at some point that, that kind of addresses that bullshit thing but yeah but uh, okay it quick. is true i think once you get back to college it's like reset to like little kid hood no yeah. one gives a shit anymore yeah because like in the dorms in the dorms everybody has a freaking nerf gun and they're uh, playing nerf gun in the halls i don't know about everyone but maybe at your derm yeah you i'm a derm at your derm. my derm it's my derm we Nobody played the nerf did. i think they did that on campus like they had some 
zombie game where people it would last a couple weeks and people oh, would yeah. wear like armbands and shit to indicate if they're like a survivor. Or I didn't play, so I don't understand all of the game rules but yeah i saw them playing and stuff yeah i did that at my college and although i definitely thought it was like a little bit nerdy like no one really gave a shit and they're just like huh yeah because in college it's like just i feel people do whatever the fuck they want as uh, long uh, as they're not hurting someone else's feelings actually you know what? hold on a sec i, I want to go back to the air can thing oh okay people this is a royal goobs public, public service, service announcement. announcement okay i read this in a book once back in high school if you i don't think this is it works with a penis. If you try to pump air into a vagina, you can get an air embolism. Air embolism? An air embolism is where if you, you have like little bits of air in your bloodstream, it can block the blood from passing through like it's supposed to, mm. and you can die. Kind of like a, a cavity of air? air I, I guess. Yeah, it's like you, you get a little air pocket in your bloodstream. So hmm. I, I've heard that like it doesn't happen to guys because like... Also, you're probably gonna queef. Um, <laughs> that's much less of an issue than dying, but yes. Eh, big to differ. Um, I, I think guys can... The embarrassment will kill you. Because, like, penis pumps exist, you know? Like, they made fun of it on yeah. Austin Powers. Yeah. The book, me, Austin Powers, and my penis enlarger. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking love that part. Um, Good But, yeah, no, girls, do not... If a guy's ever going down on you, don't let him do that. And also, just don't do it to yourself. If you, unless you feel like dying. Sounds like you're hanging out with some weird dudes. Let me blow in your fucking butt. No, dude, I read it in a book. No, 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 no. I, I, I believe that part. I'm just saying. Sounds like some inexperienced fucking shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking blow. <laughs> you know what's funny? You like that? You wanna queef? <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. It just it hurts you. Yeah. It doesn't kill you. Hmm. Sick, dude. Yeah, so just don't do not do that. Thanks for the PSA. <laughs> this has sure, been a public service announcement. I'll make sure to keep my vagina air-free. Yeah, me too. I like to make it all stanky and, like, nasty and shit. Yeah. Mm, caked on with some fucking poop. They eat the poo-poo. I like to wipe back to front. <laughs> what? I'll wipe the shit into my puss. <laughs> Ew. Store it for later. Like like uh, pickles, I have to incubate it for like a couple weeks and just let it fester up there until it becomes infected and just like... <laughs> vag cannon. <laughs> <laughs> this has uh. been a public service announcement from I'm in 6th grade and we're edgelords. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> you like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Women are lucky that they have baby cannons. Baby cannons. They're lucky they have baby cannons. They can shoot babies like a gun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Stop right there, thief! You will not rob this store! Eat fetus! Cletus! <laughs> And they can also shoot milk out their nipples like a like a water string gun. String cheese. Well, I was or, gonna say or, water sorry, gun. Easy cheese. I meant string cheese. Spider Man, Spider Man <laughs> does with his nips whatever he can. Eat milk, bitch. That was actually a joke from a Smosh video. What? Where like uh, Ian or no no Anthony had the power of Kirby to inhale people and get their powers. He inhaled a he inhaled a woman. And he was like, wait, I get no powers? No, dude, you just turn into a girl. So I can't, like, shoot milk out my nipples or anything? No! <laughs> oh, snap. Did you know Anthony actually left Smosh? Uh, no. Yeah, dude, like, a, about a year ago, he decided to leave. Well, they, like, uh, I, I don't really know much about Smosh, but they, like, sold the rights to somebody else, and then I guess yeah. the owners were total ass faces, and they, like... Did not pay them correctly, and yeah, it just sounded like a really shitty situation. Yeah, I honestly don't know much about it either, but... That's I mean, what I heard. But Ian's still in Smosh. So, like, it... Oh, it, this is a 14-minute episode. Yeah, dude. See you on the next one. We'll continue the story about Smosh. Bye-bye.